Blogosfera ha il piacere di incontrare Melissa Marche in Italia per la promozione del suo ultimo romanzo Ink Exchange. Siamo a Milano e a, tra poche ore Melissa parteciperà al Capodanno Celtico appunto per presentarlo a tutti i fan e i lettori. Uh, ciao Melissa e benvenuta su Blogosfere. <ride> Melissa, ci puoi raccontare un po' come mai nei tuoi libri, eh, che è un po' la, la tua caratteristica di fondo, vengono mischiati molto bene la realtà contemporanea con questo mondo fatato? Come oh, in your books, uh, reality mix with a uh, fairy world. Uh, what about it? What do you think about it? How do you get the idea to mix reality and uh, fairies? Oh. Um, i grew up believing in fairies and vampires and ghosts and uh, supernatural things. And the stories I grew up with were stories, um, my, my grandfather was walking home from the pub and the wild hunt came upon him. And the stories were stories that had our world combined with something other. And then when I went on to college and graduate school, I studied, um, I studied classic literature and the speculative fiction that I read had, um, it had the real world and the other combining, you know, Dracula and Frankenstein and the mortal immortal and Christabel and all of these wonderful texts. And it was much easier to s suspend disbelief when I have the real things to believe in. And so when I started writing, it wasn't so much a plan as much as just what came naturally. Un'altra un caratteristica è che in tutti e due i tuoi romanzi, sia quello d'esordio che questo nuovo, ci sono protagoniste due adolescenti, ma sono molto diverse l'una dall'altra. Um, in both books there are two teenagers as lead characters. So, how did you um, uh, get to write diff uh, such different personalities? Like Ash is very uh, luminous and uh, bright uh, and Leslie is uh, much darker and um, it's like she has a shadow upon him, upon her. How did you... Um, I guess the main characters are different because, uh, to me, um, I go about and I meet people and I've yet to meet a person that isn't interesting and just writing about the same sort of character, writing the same sort of story, would bore me. And if I'm bored, I'm not going to stick to it. I just don't have the discipline. So um, it made sense to me to have characters who were, who were different in, in sort of, I, I would think, more surface ways. Um, because what they have at the core, um, and what I think most people have at the core, is a real inner strength and ability to overcome things that we don't think we can. And so, in some ways, I feel like they're very, they're very similar. A lot of my characters are very similar in that they have an inner strength. Um, and the things that cause that to come to the surface are, are the real differences for me. Qual è li, quali sono i libri che tieni sul comodino? Where are the books you keep on your, um, uh, beside your bed? <laughs> um, the books beside my bed. Um, I read a bit of everything. I read, um, I read folklore, of course. I read Faulkner. I read popular romance novels. I read mystery novels. I read the occasional horror novel and fantasy novel. And, and so um, it, it really varies. I, I don't watch television and film. I, I read and I go places. And so at any given time, I probably have about 30 books waiting to be read. Um, and it just really depends on my mood. I, I love Faulkner um, and I love Neil Gaiman. And they're, they're very different. But um, I, I love them both very passionately. Uh, stai già lavorando su un nuovo romanzo? Are you yet working on a new, new stuff? I am, actually. Uh, I just finished the third novel. Um, it's called Fragile Eternity. Um, it comes out in the U.S. in the spring, in like April. And, uh, and so I've already started on the fourth novel. Um, I, I like to have a couple things going at all times. Um, When I'm, when I'm not reading or traveling, I like to write, I like to tell stories, and so right now I'm working on the fourth novel, and I'm writing my first adult novel, and I just finished the third manga story, so there, there's always something going on, it's fun. Che tipo di rapporto hai con la rete? Cioè, leggi la community di blog e di forum che sicuramente eh, in rete ci sono tantissimi tuoi fan che commentano i tuoi libri, perciò che tipo di rapporto hai con internet? your relationship with, uh, with the internet uh, and with the uh, fan communities, uh, blogs, and, and books, uh, do you read it, uh, 
Are you writing them? Oh, very much so. Um, I used to teach online, and so to interact with my students, I had reading discussions on forums, and I had updates where they could interact with me, so as a writer, it was just natural to do the same thing. I have uh, one of my requirements for my website was that my webmaster had to create a forum where readers could talk to me. Um, and I've been thrilled. I have readers from Germany and Italy and Spain and the US and the UK and Australia and I get to talk to them all in one space. Um, and it's a lot easier online sometimes because I can uh, look up dictionaries because sometimes I, I, I don't understand. People leave comments in languages other than mine and I, I don't, I'm not fluent unfortunately. So, um, but I can look things up and I can talk to them and it's very exciting to me. And I try and blog um, several times a week. I probably spend about two hours a day either answering reader emails or reader forums and, um, and on occasion there, there are readers that leave comments so I go over and read their blogs and check them out and, on my space and I love talking to my readers, it's one of the best parts of my job. Da americano, una domanda sorpresa Obama McCain, visto che siamo in procinto delle elezioni americane. Obama or McCain? <laughs> uh, that one's easy, Obama. I've been a fan of his before he was even the official candidate. So I've been cheering for him the whole time. My fingers are crossed. He's what we need. Grazie, Melissa, e a presto. Thank you. And Grazie. See you soon.